Look how quiet it is. There's absolutely no wind at all. Uh, we're out there about 62 degrees north. And it's uh, 9 o'clock in the evening. And it's still light and bright. And we have a lot of oil rigs around us. Over here we have one, two, three, four. There is one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the sun is up. It's a beautiful day, really beautiful day. But tomorrow I'm going home and I'm starting my uh, first holiday part. Not going to Greece this time, but uh, I am exploring Norway. So we're going to Lofoten, uh, which is a very beautiful part of Norway, far up north. We're gonna see the midnight sun and a lot of things. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. It's the 1st of June and this is the airport in Bergen. Not many people here anymore. Yes, I'm driving into Oslo, to the center of the city. And uh, it's so warm today. It's almost like being in Greece, actually. It's a fantastic day. I've been out riding the motorbike, but it was too damn warm. <laughs> uh, at least if you're gonna dress up for safety. So, I'm now going into Oslo to pick up a kick scooter, like the ones that I have on my boat. So I'm gonna have one here in the camper van as well. And then I'm going for vacation. So now in Oslo and I'm picking up a kick scooter so that I can get around a little bit when I'm in Lofoten. So there it comes. Day two of my uh, Norwegian campervan holiday adventure. Yesterday I had beautiful weather all day long. Uh, it was very nice. Today it's dull and gray and it's raining. And I am about two hours away from uh, Trondheim just now. And in Trondheim I'm gonna meet a girl that uh, was a trainee cook where I worked before. And she's gonna show me around in the city a little bit. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but we didn't pick the best day. It's gonna rain like shit in uh, Trondheim today. So could have picked a better day. But that's Norway for you guys. Um, I don't like filming when it's raining. It's gray and it's dull and it's not as pleasant as when the sky is blue and the sun is shining. But in Norway you can't always pick that. So uh, yeah, you gotta deal with the weather we have. So anyways, see you in Trondheim. What's this crazy house? Nina Rusko, man. And that is? To be honest, it's it's one of the most famous churches in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been inside? No. <laughs> I've just been living here for two years, so I call myself a tourist still because I work away half a year. Yeah. yeah. She's working kind of like me. She was a cook trainee on a boat where I was working briefly. 
Yeah. But now she's on fishing vessels, right? Yeah, yeah. so it's a 400 meter vessel that's in Stockmarknes in Norway. Ah, mm. cool. Yeah. But we can't go in here, can we? No, you know, Corona is fucking up everything. Even churches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have any faith? No, no. Okay, say hello to Mirjata. Hello, I'm 23 and uh, I live in Trondheim. I'm almost from the same place as Roger. I see we got a wet lens here. Okay, uh -huh. this is Nida Jostoman. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. Yeah, it's raining always in Trondheim. We had four days with nice weather, so. I guess it will be raining for three weeks or something now. What's over there? That looks like a church. I don't think you can see it. That's actually a university? Yeah. Yeah. And she says it looks like something from Harry Potter and I don't know what Harry Potter is. <laughs> oh, he's too old, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> this is the old town bridge in Trondheim. Yeah. It's very beautiful, especially on the sunny days. Yeah. No, it's not sunny today, but still pretty. Oh. And the river that runs here is named. Oh shit, Nidelven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a little bit embarrassing that I have to think about it. <laughs> so, since you're a cook, is there a lot of good restaurants in Trondheim? Yeah, we have. I think we have two Michelin restaurants now, Ooh. actually. Uh, but my favorite is Bruer. It's like a casual restaurant with good drinks and burgers and tacos. And mm. There's a lot of sharing restaurants here, and it's one more, but I don't remember the name. It is in Bakun, all away over there. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, but it's a really nice experience for food. Good, cool. Yeah. Let's see some more. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> no way. That's the wrong side of the way. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to film. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Don't make me break. <laughs> oh. It's shit hard to film here, but it was a really cozy place. Under my umbrella! <laughs> I have a feeling that everywhere I go, if it's Greece or even here in Trondheim, churches is what I end up seeing. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah? No, it's what for you is cheap here and it's made out of two and just. You, what, what did you say the name of this church was? What for you is I don't know what it is in English. Our, our mistress uh, church? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No faith. Yeah. yeah, compared to the other ones, it's quite small. Yeah. yeah, but it's good. Oh, and there are the sailboats right over there. Yes. And do you know the name of this island over there? I think I do. You do? Yeah. What is it? It could have the same name as a non alcoholic beer. I don't know. Mun Coleman? That is Moon Coleman, isn't it? It was a military port. Oh yeah? Yeah, it was. No, I'm not sure what it's used for, but I know it was a military area Typical woman. Puberty, <laughs> 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 you know. I'm sorry, I just touched you. Oh really? <laughs> Come on, one more time. Oh, that's a big one. Turkey. 
<laughs> the rain kept pouring down, so me and Merete went into a cafe for a chat. When we came back out, it had stopped raining, and I could fly the drone finally. So I've been driving most of the day and uh, not filming much but I tried to stop at historic places and I've been to Niederrostommen in Trondheim which is a historic place uh, and now I'm in Stiklestad and Stiklestad is where the battle among the Vikings were I don't remember in which year and uh, where all of Norway was christened so this is his historic grounds let's have a look What it says here is that uh, uh, the Norwegian King Olaf, uh, when he was Christian, uh, Christ Christianing in Norway back in 1030, on the 29th of July he fell and died. And uh, since then he's been named Holy Olaf. And everybody who knows a little bit of Viking history or have some interest in Vikings, We'll know the name Stiklesta, I think. Look how pretty they're making it here. Yes. So here's the statue of the man that took Valhalla away from us and gave us heaven. Why on earth would you do that? <laughs> And down here they have plays every year where they're playing the battle again and again. Let's go check out some of the buildings. We can't go into them because it's pre-season, it's corona time and all in all everything is closed and it's late at night too. Now it's seven o'clock in the evening but since it's so far north sun is still up. Yeah, these buildings, they're old traditional Norwegian buildings, but they're obviously not from the Viking Age. These are much more recent than modern, but they're still pretty old buildings.
And that's a typical old Norwegian barn, I think. But again, much more modern than the Viking Age. I cannot imagine they had anything as huge as this back then. This is, I'm pretty sure, this is restored and moved old buildings. Seems actually like they made a pretty cozy place out of old restored buildings, but these are clearly buildings that don't belong here uh, from the start. They're not originally from here, and at least not from the age of Stiglista Battle. But they're cool. This is a proper old Norwegian house. And you can see how short people was back in the days. I'm not a tall guy, I'm five foot six. And I would chop my head off. And this, this is how the Vikings fenced their properties from the cattle. Look again how small the houses were. Thank you very much for commenting on this video, liking it and sharing it on social media. This means a lot to me as it helps me reach out to more viewers. Stay tuned for the next episode when I cross the Arctic Circle and I meet up with a group of people who is cleaning the Norwegian archipelago for plastic. I'm now at a Kua camping nearby Vardal and I'm starting to get a bit up north. Uh, you can see that because now it's 11 o'clock at night There's no midnight sun, but it's it's bright, isn't it? I would like to thank all my patrons and supporters who helps me out a special thank you to my gold supporter Harvey Engvart. Thank you. Bye. Bye